안녕하십니까? Nicolas in the and on this video I would like to show you how we can replace PowerPoint with Markdown and VS Code. MARP or Markdown Presentation Ecosystem takes the text that we write and turns it into a beautiful PowerPoint presentation, PDF, and even an interactive website. The fastest way to get started with MARP is by using it as a VS Code extension. Open your VS Code, go to Extensions menu and install it. After you do that, open an empty Markdown file and write down this code to enable MARP. That section of a Markdown file is called the Front Matter. And here is where we can configure and customize our presentation. After that, you can get started writing your first slide using normal Markdown. To see a preview of your presentation, click the Open Preview button on your VS Code's top right corner. And as you will see, Marp is taking the Markdown code that you wrote and generating a presentation for you. Super cool. To create another slide, just write dash 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 and MARP will do the rest. Apart from the default one, MARP ships with two other themes called OnCover and Gaia, which we can enable from our front matter. And if we use the class directive, we can get dark mode by writing invert. We can also ask Marv to add page numbers to our presentation by using the paginate directive. Using directives, we can add a footer or header to all our slides. And because we are in Markdown, we can use Markdown features like bold and italic text formatting. You can customize each slide independently as well by writing a comment on the slides you want to change with the new styles and configuration. We can also add images to our slides using Markdown syntax and we can use any of the super nice image utilities that MARP has. We can add a background image to our slide by using the BG keyword. We can size our images and we can also add effects to them like blur, sepia, brightness, contrast, box shadow among many others. You can also position images however you like. Mark also supports code highlighting and it makes the code look beautiful as well. There are many other things that you can do with Mark. You can download and use a community team and you can even use your own CSS and HTML on the slides if you want to. But the coolest thing about Mark, in my opinion, is what happens when you finish the presentation and export it. After you're done and you want to export your presentation, Mark gives you three options. You can export it like a PDF, a PowerPoint, or an HTML slide deck. The first two will give you a PDF or a PowerPoint with the slides that you made as images. But when you choose to export it for the web, you will receive a single .html file that any browser can open. And that HTML file is interactive. You will have arrows to click, a button to go full screen, and a button to trigger presenter view. And something that is super cool is that because we used the asterisk symbol when making our list items, on the web, each one of these items will be revealed one by one, which I think it's a really nice detail. If we used dashes rather than asterisks, they will all show up at the same time. I personally like the HTML export much, much, much more than the other ones because you can just upload the HTML to your website and people can see your presentation from their phones. You can include links, GIFs, videos, etc. And because all you need to open your presentation is a browser, you also don't have to worry about the computer at your school or company having PowerPoint installed or if it's a Mac or not. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful. And if you are using Mark already, share your tips and tricks on how to use it well. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onodo, kamsahago, sanahago, taumubayo, see you on the next one, bye-bye.